Now, feel good? It probably feels a bit weird to start with. There's a reason behind this, yeah? This particular guard or stance, when you're ready, it's not the stance you're going to move about in, but when you're attacking, it's the quickest way back and it's the quickest way forward. So, just to, just to get you used to that, find yourself a bit of space, spread out. And you can keep your cuff down by your side. And this is pressing in. This is falling away. Now, gravity is your friend. You lift your rear foot and you let gravity take you and you push off the front foot. Now, Simon, we'll borrow you for a sec. Simon's going to take up the stance, we're going to be slightly out of distance, and all he's going to do is lift that rear foot and push, and that's going to take him out of distance. Okay, done. Now, there you go. He's got me, I can't reach him. Similarly, when we're pressing in, if we want to advance, that's what we're doing. He moves away at the same time I do. That's called disappointing me of my distance. Okay, that is fundamental to what we do. You move, move back, and your opponent's first coming in. Now your first opponent's first coming in is any movement that I make. Because if I move, I'm in business. We're not just twitching at each other. Okay? <coughs> so once more, press in, all the way. Basic guards. First one, true garden. Or the prime. So cool because it's the first guard that you come into when you draw from your scabbard. It's a very, very useful guard for a closing on an enemy or an opponent. You want it slightly facing back towards your knee. Literally as if you've just drawn it from your scabbard. Okay? Next one we've got St George for downright blows. Then we've got outside guard. Now we move across into inside guard. Imagine you've got a nail going right through the middle there and you just pivot on that nail. Okay? And you can go back to outside. Go up into St George and into True Garden. And you notice you've got Everything covered there. Now we can drop down to the lower part of the body, down to your shoulder, bastard garden. You can pivot on bastard garden, you can pivot on trick garden. Now outside, pointing in towards your toe. Basically, that sort of guard is as if someone's come down to your leg, you're a bit close and you've gone, Jesus! So you don't get your arteries open. Come across a twist of the wrist and you narrow, in, narrow inside. Wide outside, wide inside. And everyone will know the medium. Okay? So, let's run through those words again. True Garden, St. George. Outside, inside. Okay, you want to be, keep it nice and high, and you want to be behind your weapon at all times. So, outside St George, True Garden, Bastard Garden, narrow inside, sorry, narrow outside, narrow inside, wide outside, wide inside. Thank you. Now, most reserved, more observant of you will have noticed, your left hand stays around the level of your elbow. And there's a reason behind that, because that is your second line of defence. If your hand's down here and something goes wrong, you've got a long way to go to be able to make your hand move. 
So, for example, Simon, if I borrow it for a moment. For example, say Simon <coughs> makes a cut down to my leg. I go to an outside guard. This is over here, and I decide, right, I've got time here, I'm going to chop him one. And I make a move. Oh, look, he's got me. He's in a time and a hand, I'm using a time and a foot. Fox time, true time. Let's do that again. From that point there, I move forward, I've got my left hand up where it can be used. I move forward, he goes. It's covered. I've controlled his weapon, so now I can either fly out, or I can do something, I go and make myself safe. Okay? So, to illustrate some of these, I'm going to do a few techniques, so if I get you a pair up. In your own time, face to face each other. <laughs> exercises is to demonstrate the blocks and to demonstrate the principles in terms of the defender. Okay? Almost invariably the agent, which would be in this case Simon, loses. So, nice and slow just to start with Simon. He steps in and he attacks the distance of my neck. I fall away slightly. I move out to meet his weapon. Swarm out and I counter come over the top and strike down to his head. My left hand is right there in case he makes a move, I can get rid of it. Okay, once more. Stop it, over. And this time, when someone comes in, okay, I'll do it properly <laughs> and move away. That's the most important thing as soon as your opponent starts to move, you move backwards. If he moves in two feet, you move back two feet. If he moves in two inches, you move back two inches. Or whatever suits you to make sure that you're safe. This is the safe place that Terry was talking about earlier on. The most important thing is not to look for a target, it's not to stop or put a block in the weapon or kill him, it's to make sure that you don't die. Okay, does that make sense? Why not have a go? So, true garden weight slightly on the back leg. If, for example, I'm here, 
that's not true cross. He can have me. Okay? So we stop the weapon before it's the attack before it's in full force, we need that true cross. So track the weapon as it comes in. Just like against this one. Start again. There we go. Bang. True cross. I'm at a distance. I can counter. Sorry, right, carry on. Okay, if I can have everyone's attention for a moment. One of the things that I'm noticing is when the stop's coming in, the left hand is leading the right hand, which can be, and it often is, a real signal to your opponent that something's happening. If I can borrow Mace Brown, which he's got a moment, Revenge. <laughs> Revenge. Sarah, why left hands lead to a bad idea? You did not rest. Okay. So, what do you want me to do? Hold that up there, Sean. I want to hurt him now. Right. <laughs> 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 uh, no, 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 not so. Uh, right hand, we've got a right hand one. We've got a right hand one. That's right hand. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's not really important. Right. Thank you, Michael. So, what is it you want me to do? You need the left hand. We've been got that a lot. All right, we've got this happening a lot. Now, I'm going to ask Terry to explain this to you because he will explain it better than me. That's that's why it won't hurt you so much. Okay, um, you see in some stars, they have their own reason. So, if Neil attacks me in relative slow motion, right, true cross, the idea of this is the left hand is emergency defence. It's also a cover. So we should turn on this right now. It's also a cover. So I'm blocked here. This my true cross is a defence. As my weapon gives up its defensive duties, the left hand moves in to cover. It takes over. I don't necessarily have to grab it. If just push in slightly, if my opponent's momentum carries him in, it will stop it. If I waste time, 
pushing up to it, trying to grab it. I'm slowing down my actual attack. So what I'm going to do now, the reality point, remember that, it stops the what if -ers. And it's a dose of reality for anyone who does it. In a real fight, we don't know what our opponent's going to do. We stop an attack, we still don't know what he's going to do until he does it, or until we do something first. So if I attack there, he's on the floor. <coughs> so the point at which I block his weapon is the point at which he either moves off, but for this demonstration, we assume as soon as I make contact there, I switch my attack. He will be able to preempt it if we do it metronome style. So you want to block this, okay? Metronome. So reality point means I make him wait. I decide when to attack. I'll take him by surprise just like it would in a real fight. Reality point. So I'll make him wait and then I've got him. No way on God's earth can he or anyone get out of waiting time or block it in time. But now we do something silly by English standards. Oh you've got blood on your hand. Ugh. Who did that? I think that might be Simon actually. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I like that. I'm going to do it wrong on purpose. What I'm going to do, you'll see it in some styles, is that first, without warning, is that and then that. Kneel, to avoid a blow on the head, is going to fly out and or block it. Ready? Mm -hmm. That hand, I'm just going to do a hand movement. Well done. That's not slow, is it? Just like the cross blocking thing. But it's enough time for my opponent to get out of the way. Now there's another reason I'm not leaving with a hand. You can get cut off, prone, damage, and you can die. So we'll do the whole technique again. Right there, that way. Full speed, hang on there. Now notice, I said I wouldn't interfere, I'm going to interfere a little bit. Um, George Silver used an expression, we need to blow before it's in full force. Bruce Lee later called <coughs> the way the exception fist. 40 years too late, but there we go. <laughs> Slow motion, please. Right, I can either step into it, just about, once more. I can either <coughs> let the blow come here, when it's developed almost full speed and full power, and puts me under pressure. And now I've got very little room to move. Maneuver. Once more, slowly again. Or I can go out to meet the blow before it's even reached halfway. And it's got less than half power because it hasn't developed its thermal <coughs> velocity. I've got the angle which has disordered my opponent, and I've got even more time to deliver this blow. And to get this hand in. So we do the whole thing again from that point, reality point, without warning. Oh, yeah. that's what happens to us in real life. Someone does the reality expect <coughs> we get this. That's how the true cross works. If I spoil it through cross, I'm going to go full speed, I'm going for the hand first. It's not fake, I'm trying my hardest. That little short movement is all a human being needs to get out of that way. And once I'm here, it's ordered. Then the aim's blown back, which I'm not going to give him a chance to do. <coughs> Thank you very much.
Yeah. If you went back in the you know, 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 He's got a true class. Now, yeah. what I need to get out of here, that's all right, the way he's first moved. Start with it, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. So, I move forward, keep my left hand up, I've wound my body up, and then I unwind it. I keep that left hand where it can do me a little bit of good. If something goes wrong. Okay. Once more. Pass. Attack down to the leg. All I'm interested in is that. I know where Simon's leg is because I can see where his hand is. His hand is holding the weapon. The weapon is the thing that can kill me. I could look deeply into his baby blue eyes, <laughs> but he's not going to pluck one of them out and chuck it at me. This is the thing that can do me the damage. Okay, so I need to be aware that that's there. And the reason I know where Simon's leg is, is because it's in his hand, and his hand is attached to his elbow, and his elbow is attached to his shoulder, and directly below that is his leg. Because if it wasn't, he'd be falling over. So I'm watching here, and I'm attacking there. Okay? Does anyone have any questions about that? Do you want me to show it to you again? Yeah? So, we're in the inside guard. Remember, as I said to you earlier on, you pivot out. Imagine there, you've got something running through it and it just pivots on that spot. Okay, son? Put the stop on, got my true cross. As if I'm going to be walking past, bang, and that's there. Now, the thing with the passing, we do it every single day when we're walking down the street and we don't even think about it. You're walking towards somebody. And I just go, oh. This is exactly the same sort of principle. In this particular case, I'm walking towards Simon, oh, and I'm going off to one side. I'm not sort of going and making a big, enormous movement. It's just a simple, I want to get around him. I move back. I can't go through him, because if I try to do that, I'm walking on his fist. Go to the other point. So I go past him. That's there to protect me. Down it comes. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 